Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Uh, just give me a second. I believe I have a problem with the audio. Just a moment. Okay, um, can you hear me now? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Hear you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for replying. Okay, um, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you now. And we're going to start the class. There it is. Okay, as usual, I'm going to start by calling or taking attendance. Okay, let's begin. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. Present teacher. Welcome. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher, good evening. Welcome. Carlos Roberto Dominguez. Carlos Roberto Dominguez. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elisa Arelí López Campos. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Welcome. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Gabriel Antonio Nájera Martel. I'm here. Welcome. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Present. Welcome. Um, Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Present. Welcome. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín. Present, sir. Welcome. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Present, teacher. Welcome. Sandra Yanet Vázquez Cortés. Present. Welcome. Saúl Arnulfo Mengíbar Crespín. I'm here, present. Welcome. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Welcome. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Present. Welcome. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Juan Present Eduardo. teacher. Okay, welcome. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Okay, let's start. 
Everybody, welcome once again. This is Advanced English One, and that's me, Ivan Donyang, at your service once again. And this is session 15. Today is September the 20th of 2023 or 2023. Okay, um, let's begin. Well, yesterday we studied a little bit about reduced time clauses. Okay, we're going to, um, we're done with that topic. Now we're going to do the listening exercise, which is exercise 4.2. Okay, uh, you'll find it in the platform. Okay, so can you, sorry, stress can cause fatigue and lack of energy. Check the things you do to cope with stress. Can you add other suggestions to the list? So in the list you have call a friend, do vigorous exercise, do yoga, get a massage, listen to music, take a hot bath, vent your feelings. What is vent your feelings? Express how you feel. Okay, that's the meaning of vent. Vent your feelings is express how you feel. Or some other things. So my question is for you, uh, if you want to participate, raise your hand. What do you do to deal with stress? What do you do to cope with stress? Do you call a friend, do exercise, listen to music, vent your feelings, or maybe something that is not in the list? What do you do to cope with stress? Let's see, let's, let's have a couple volunteers. For example, in my case, when I want to cope with stress, I listen to music. I do that very often. Okay, um, I don't call my friends, honestly, because I don't want to burden my friends with my problems. I'm pretty sure they have their own problems. Uh, sometimes I do vigorous exercise, uh, like ride my bicycle. I love to ride my bicycle. So sometimes I do that when I feel stressed out, I just take the bicycle out and I ride on it. I never do yoga, okay? Um, I don't know how to do that. I never get massage. Well, sometimes I get massages from my wife. Okay, but probably once every three months. Um, I listen to music. Um, I don't have a bath, so I cannot take a bath. Vent my feelings. I hardly ever do this. Okay, I, I don't find it very productive in my case, in particular. And um, also, I take I, I I take a nap. Okay, if I feel stressed out, I can also take a nap. But that's me. How about you? Okay. Um, can I have a volunteer? What do you do to cope with stress? Any techniques that you can share with the class? No participants. Okay. Moving on. Uh, Gabriel, thank you very much. Uh, well, when in my case, well, I feel a stress, I always like to listen to music. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, a, li a little bit of everything, I, mm -hmm. I can say. <laughs> okay, a little bit of everything. Okay, all right, so that, that that's the way you cope with stress. Okay, thank you, Gabriel. Thanks for your participation. But we're going to do the listening part. Okay, listen to Sean, Lisa, and Victor talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. So the, the causes of stress are too little time, too much traffic, and too many responsibilities. So I'm going to play the track twice. The first time, I just want you to identify the cause of stress for each person. If, uh, for example, Lisa says that she has too little time, then you write an L, okay? Or you just tell me, right? Who, uh, who has too little time? It's remember, Sean, Lisa, and Victor. So I'm going to play the track the first time. The second time is going, we're going to do exercise C. Let's begin. Chilling out. Can you hear that, by the way? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. I can Thank hear. you. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, let's listen. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. One, Sean. Okay, let's continue. You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. 
So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. 2. Lisa I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work, and we have two small children, so we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes too. Three. Victor. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but... As soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. All right, so let's check some answers. Uh, okay, so what about uh, the first one? Too little time. Who has this problem? Raise your hand if you know. Is it Sean, Lisa, or Victor? Raise your hand, please. Okay, Gabriel, then Elizabeth. Thank you. Yep. It's Lisa. It is Lisa. Okay, yeah, that's right. It is Lisa. Okay. Um, Elizabeth, what about the second one? Too much traffic. Who has that problem? Too much traffic. It's it's Victor. Yeah, that's right. It's Victor. And obviously the third one, too many responsibilities that that will be Sean. Okay, great. So uh, what are we going to do here? Okay, I want you to, sorry, take a look at this and uh, just a moment. Okay, um, I'm going to go over here. This is the same exercise that you have in the platform, okay? Listen to Sean, listen, Victor, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? So you have Lisa, Victor, and Sean. Um, for the next part, okay, and this is also in the platform, listen again, what solutions has each person found, okay? So uh, you have, in the case of Lisa, Sean, and Victor. I am going to play the track. Just give me a second. Put it here. Okay, great. I'm going to play the track a second time and I want you to choose the right answer. So what solution to the problem have they found? What works out for them? I'm going to play the track a second time. Please choose the right answer. And then we're going to check. Chilling out. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. 1. Sean You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. 
I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. 2. Lisa I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work, and we have two small children, so we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs, and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes too. Three. Victor. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but... As soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. All right, number one, what's Lisa's solution? I want uh, people who have not participated. I want to hear, you know, other voices. For those who participate all the time, excellent, okay? But I want to hear more people talk. What about Lisa? What's Lisa's solution to her problem? I need a volunteer. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Okay, Lisa, thank you. The solution for Lisa is ask you to sleep over at friend's house and has quiet dinner. Yeah, she has kids sleep over at the friend's house and has quiet dinner, okay? The downsides of it, she says, sometimes the, the, the neighbors do the same thing, <laughs> okay? And their kids sleep in her house. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, Ana Cecilia, you go with number two, and uh, Byron, you get number three. So Ana Cecilia, what's Sean's solution to his problem? Paul's home when feels stress out. Yeah, he calls home when he feels stressed out. Very good. Yeah, that's right. And the last one, Byron, uh, what about Victor's? What's, what's Victor's solution to his problem? Leaves home early before traffic gets too heavy. That's right. He leaves home early before traffic gets too heavy. That's right. Okay, thank you. So the, the, those are the answers to the listening exercise 4.2. Okay, uh, moving on. We're still a little bit behind schedule, so we have to continue right here. So um, let's do this. Now we're going to lesson B, okay? Uh, tossing and turning, okay? So a good night's sleep, a good night's sleep. Starting point, that's the first part. A good night's sleep. Read the statements about sleep habits. Check the statements that are true for you. We're going to read them together, okay? Uh, I'm going to call... Um, I'm not going to ask for volunteers. This time I'm going to ask people directly, okay? Um, and, and I want you to help me read uh, the sleep habits. And I want you to check, check the ones, okay, that are true for you, all right? Should probably include something here, like a number, because you don't have this in print. So um, let's see, I'm going to like give you numbers so you can see better. Just a second. Okay, so that you can see it better, I'm just going to 
go over this here pretty quickly. Sorry about this. <laughs> uh, just give me a second. I just I just want to make it look a bit clearer for you because you don't have this in print. So identifying them later is going to be a bit more complicated. I'm just adding numbers to the to the slide so that you can do this exercise in an easier way. I'm sorry I didn't think of this any sooner. Uh, just a moment. Just one more. And here we are. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Okay, there you go. So I just added the numbers for you. So um, let's uh, let's read these. We're going to start. I'm going to check the list here. Who's going to help me? I'm going to call names of people who don't participate <laughs> very often. So let's see. Um, let's start. Um, Elisa, Arely. Okay, Elisa. Can you help me read the first one, please? Elisa Arely Lopez Campos. Hello? Okay. Real. Okay, number one, please. I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. That means that you go to bed, but you can't fall asleep. You're there, just staring at the ceiling. You don't know how to fall asleep. So I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. So everybody, I want you to check. Okay, maybe you can write it on a piece of paper, right? If number one is true for you, just check it. Okay, thank you. We're going with uh, Elmer Mauricio Salas. Okay, number two, please. Elmer Mauricio. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you help me read number look, two? Yes. I look, I can, I get by on six hours of sleep, mm -hmm. <clears throat> considering that most people need eight. Yeah. Okay. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep of sleeps, I'm sorry, considering that most people need eight, okay? Get by means to manage, is to be successful at doing something, okay? I, I get by, this is like when you say in Spanish, me las arreglo, okay? I get by on six hours of sleep, considering most that most people need eight. Okay, so if you, if this is true for you, please put a check on it, okay? All right, so um, what will be next? Uh, number three, who's going to help me? Juan Eduardo Moran Rodriguez. Sorry, Elizabeth, did you have a question? No, I participate. Ah, you wanted to participate. Okay, you, you helped me with number four, okay? Okay, uh, let's see. Juan Eduardo. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, teacher, I am driving. It's ah, you're driving. Oh, okay, okay. So if that's the case, that's fine. Okay, Elizabeth is going to help us. Number three. Number three, please. I'm a light sleeper, so any little noise wakes me up unless I'm really tired. I'm a light sleeper, so any little noise wakes me up unless I'm really tired. Okay, that's a light sleeper. Some people are deep sleepers. Okay, you know. There could be a lot of noise, but they don't hear it, okay? But some people are light sleepers, okay? There's a little noise, just a little noise, and they they wake up, okay? If this is your case, please put a check on it. Number five, number four, sorry. Number four, who's going to help me? Let's see, Miguel Arsenio, Alas. Miguel Arsenio? Are you there, Miguel? Miguel Arsenio? Hmm. No camera and no response. That's suspicious. Okay. Let's see. Sandra Yanet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> please. Okay. I can manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day. I can manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day, 
Okay, that means if I take a nap during the day, I'm okay. If I only sleep five hours at night. Okay, so um, what will be next? Number Byron. Okay, help help us, Byron, please. Number uh, five. Five. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. That's very dangerous, but yeah. Okay, thank you, Byron. Unless, a menos que, unless it's I get a good really night's dangerous. sleep. Really dangerous, indeed. So, uh, unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Okay, that's dangerous. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, for the next one, do I have volunteers? Okay, number six. Who can help me read number six, please? Gabriela Alejandra. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't get up. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Okay, that's right. Just in case one of them doesn't go off. Go off means, you know, to ring, to, to make a sound, in this case. All right, if this is your case, please put a check on it. Number seven, who can help us read number seven? Elisa. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. If I don't, then I sleep. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Elisa. If this is the case, uh, please put a check on number seven. Number eight. Okay. Who can tell me this one? Who can, who can help me read this one? I'm sorry. Number eight. No volunteers. All right. So you have, I never have any trouble sleeping. Sleep like a baby. And number nine, I am exhausted every morning, even if I sleep great all night. Okay, if this is your case, please put a check on it. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in any of these? Any of these sleep habits or sleep circumstances? No questions. Or are you looking for a word? Okay, Rufino. Uh, the words, uh, the sentences for manage. I can manage. Okay, I can uh -huh. manage means I can do okay. That's the meaning of that. I can do okay on five hours of sleep, okay? Like we okay. say, me las puedo arreglar, okay? I can do okay, right? I can manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day. Siempre y cuando tome una siesta durante el día, right? That's the idea. So when okay. you say manage, you. Mm -hmm, that's, that's the meaning of manage. Manage can have, it has more than one meaning. Manage can mean to administer something, it's administrar, right? And also, arreglárselas, okay? So, um, any other questions about the vocabulary? Is that it? Okay then, well, if there are no more questions, we're going to just continue. Uh, lesson objective 4.3, in this class, participants will learn expressions about sleep. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to learn expressions about sleep. So, expressions related to sleep. Put the expressions about sleep in the columns, then compare answers. I'm going to give you four minutes for you to do this. You have be fast asleep, be sound asleep, be wide awake, drift off, feel drowsy, have a sleepless night, nod off, sleep like a log, Take a power nap and toss and turn. Okay, so if you uh, there are, if there are words that you don't know, please check a dictionary. You can also check a dictionary on your phone uh, or, or just Google the meaning of it. Okay, and I want you to classify these expressions in the right category. And the categories are 
having trouble sleeping. Okay. Uh, just a moment. Just a second. Okay. So uh, the first one is having trouble sleeping. The second one is falling asleep. The third category is sleeping a short time. And the last one is sleeping deeply. Okay. So what is that? The first one is be fast asleep. This is the, the first that you have in the list. Be fast asleep. So you have to classify it in one of the four categories. And the first one is in category number four, sleeping deeply. Be fast asleep means to be completely asleep, right? You're sleeping deeply. That's the meaning of that, right? Okay. So that's the meaning of be fast asleep. So this is what I want you. I'm going to give you four minutes for you to classify all the expressions in the box in the right category. And when you finish, okay, uh, we're going to check answers. And if there are questions about vocabulary, also we're going to clarify them right there and then. So four minutes starting right now. And uh, I'm going to put it here in the on the screen. Oops, sorry. I'm going to put it on the screen so you can see it. Four minutes. Okay, let's begin. Three minutes.
to minutes. One minute. Okay, time's up. Expressions related to sleep. Put these expressions about sleep in the columns, then compare the answer. Compare answers. So the first one is be fast asleep. Uh, it goes in category number four, sleeping deeply. Uh, be sound asleep. How about this one? Okay, who, who knows the answer to this one? Be sound asleep. What is the meaning of that? Or where would you uh, classify this? Elizabeth? <laughs> I guess. Sleeping deeply. Sleeping deeply. That's right. Sleeping sleeping deeply. That's correct. You are sound asleep. What is the meaning of that? When you're sleeping deeply, normally silently, and you are still. That means you don't move. If a person is sleeping like that, is still not making any noise, that person is sound asleep. Okay, sleeping deeply. That's right. Thank you, Elizabeth. What about the next one? Be wide awake. How about this one? Where would you place this expression? Be wide awake. Uh-huh. Gabriela Sequeira, thank you. Be wide awake means when you're totally uh, totally awake, so is when you're having trouble to sleep. That's right. Okay, having trouble sleeping. That's where you classify it. So be wide awake. Exactly what Gabriela said. This is when you're you have a lot of trouble sleeping. You can't sleep. You you definitely you can't sleep. You, you, probably you don't even feel tired. Okay, you're wide awake. Okay, uh, that's right. Thank you very much. Um, uh, what about the next one? Drift off. About drift off. Where would you classify this expression? Gabriela Alejandra, aceituno. I classify as falling asleep. Falling asleep. That is correct. When you drift off, you fall asleep. Okay, especially, especially when you are not supposed to fall asleep. Like for example, sometimes uh uh, it can happen to people. You go to lectures, for example, or there's a speech or something. Somebody's talking for a, for a long time, and then you start like, mm -hmm. and you drift off. Okay, so this is like uh, it's it's um, metaphorical. Okay, this is metaphorical. It's like it's la deriva, right? That's drift off. Okay, you fall asleep, often unintentionally. Okay, thank you, uh, Gabriela. What about the next one? Feel drowsy. What about what about this one? Feel feel drowsy. How about this one? Feel feel drowsy. What do you think? Ana Cecilia. 
Sleeping a short time. Sleeping a short time. Well, not exactly. It's, it's actually a bit different. Um, it actually goes in this category, which is falling asleep. Although, although, okay, when you feel, you don't necessarily have to fall asleep when you feel drowsy. But when you feel drowsy, you are, you're very sleepy. Okay, when you feel drowsy, you're like, oh, man. Okay, you feel drowsy, you feel very, very sleepy. It's almost like you're falling asleep, but not completely. Okay, but yeah, it goes in this category, feel drowsy. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you, Ana Cecilia. Um, what about the next one? Have a sleepless night. Have a sleepless night. Elizabeth del Carmen. Hi. Well, uh, I classify having trouble sleep. Having trouble sleeping. Yeah, that's right. When you have a sleepless night, you have trouble sleeping. You go to bed, but no matter what you do, you can't fall asleep. It can be very frustrating. So yeah, you have a sleepless night. Just lie there, awake. Thank you. Um, what about the next one? Nod off. What is nod off? What about not off? Who can help us with this one? Elizabeth. Falling asleep. Falling asleep. Okay, yeah, it goes in two categories actually. Will be falling asleep or sleeping a short time also. Okay, when you nod off. When you nod off is pretty much when especially when you're sitting, okay? Uh, not when you're standing or anything, okay? Uh, you nod off. Imagine that uh, at work or you're in the middle of a conference, for example, and you're like this and you start nodding, okay? The verb nod means to do this. That's nod, okay? You nod your head. You shake your head like this, you nod your head like this. When you nod off, normally you fall asleep while doing this, okay? You're nodding off, all right? Can be very frustrating, okay, and 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 almost torturous, okay. So yeah, that's not off, right? When you start falling asleep like this, especially when you're sitting. I hate it when it happens. Um, uh, what about the next one? Uh, sleep like a log. Gabriel. It's sleeping deeply. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, sleep like a log is when you're sleeping deeply. Okay. So where where is Mario? Okay, he's sleeping like a log right there. So Mario is okay, completely asleep. Okay, sleeping like a log. Durmiendo como un tronco. Literally, that's the translation. Okay, the next one. Uh, thank you, Gabriel. Take a power nap. About this one, take a power nap. We talked about it yesterday, I believe, or was it Monday? I don't remember. So Ana Cecilia. Uh, sleeping a short time. That's right. You you sleep for a short time. A power nap is like uh, when you sleep like for fifteen to twenty minutes. Some of the experts say, and after that you feel like energized. If you sleep longer than that, you will you will uh, have the opposite effect. Okay, you will feel very weak and sleepy after that. So I don't really know if it works. Maybe to some people. And the last one, toss and turn. How about this one, toss and turn. Toss means to move, okay, from side to side or back and forth, okay, so that's to toss. And turn, okay, you change sides like this, like a tortilla, <laughs> okay, so um, like a pancake. So toss and turn. How about this one? Who can help me? You know this one? Ana Cecilia. I try to having a trouble sleeping. That's right. Okay. When you toss and turn, you're having trouble sleeping. That means that you're in your bed, you're trying like different positions, but nothing works. Okay. You feel uncomfortable no matter what position you try, and then you can fall asleep. Okay. So that you, you're tossing and turning, tossing and turning. So uh, there you go. Now you have the expressions, right? Having trouble sleeping, you have be wide awake, have a sleepless night, and toss and turn. 
In the falling asleep category, you have drift off, fall asleep. You feel drowsy when you're very sleepy and you nod off when you're sitting and doing this, okay? Uh, sleeping a short time, you nod off also. Sometimes it happens, right? Some people just nod off like that and they fall asleep for a while. You can take a power nap, okay? And sleeping deeply, you are fast asleep, be sound asleep, and sleep like a log, okay? The three mean to be sleeping deeply, okay? So um, there you go. Uh, normally, I have a question, okay? And I need a couple of volunteers. What is like your 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 uh, every night situation? When you go to bed, do you have trouble sleeping? Do you fall asleep quickly? Do you sleep deeply? Or during the day, maybe you sleep a short time. I don't know. What what are some of your habits, or or what uh, which I'm sorry of these expressions apply to your sleeping habits? I I just need a volunteer. I'll give you an example, right? My case, for example, when I when I go to bed at night, I usually I usually sleep like a log. Okay, usually, not every time, but I usually sleep like a log especially after a, a day's work, like tonight, for example. I'm definitely going to sleep like a log. Um, and sometimes when I'm traveling by bus, I nod off, okay? Gabriela Sequeira, how about you? Well, for me, um, I have been traveling sleeping because um, my I have a lighter sleep. So okay. So every no, I, I can hear every no, noise in the so, night. So if someone drops a pin or a needle, ping, yeah. you hear it. Okay, all right. <laughs> if someone in the house is awake, I can hear it. Or in now, nowadays is because of temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's not mentioned here, but okay. yeah, I, I usually sleep with a with a fan on all the time. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it can be very hot. You know, my wife, my wife is a, is a light sleeper, okay? Uh, usually when she falls asleep, I have to be very careful not to make any noises because if I just, if I open the door, like, you can hear the, you know, the, yeah, the door squeaking, she, she wakes up, okay? <laughs> and the next day she tells me, like, you make a lot of noise, so... That's it, yeah, but I'm, I'm quite the opposite. When I fall asleep, I, I, I sleep, I sleep like a log, okay? You can make noise and, and it would not normally affect me. Unless, of course, you make a lot of noise. If that's the case, yeah, I, I, I wake up. Okay, uh, thank you, Gabriela. Um, uh, how about this one? Where where do you feel, uh, well, when, I'm sorry, do you feel drowsy during the day? Uh, I'm asking this question. It's an open question, anybody can answer. So uh, I, for example, feel drowsy particularly after lunch, okay? After lunch, I can have lunch. The next two hours are torture to me, okay? Because I, I start working, but I feel like, oh my God, oh man, I have to do something. Sometimes I stand up, I sit down again, then I stand up and sit down and I do that in order to cope with this feeling. But uh, but it's, 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 it's very annoying and, and it's kind of stressful when you try to work, but you feel drowsy. So uh, how about you, when, during the day, uh, do you feel, you know, the most drowsy? Who wants to share? To some people, this is in the morning. In my case, it's right after I have lunch. How about the rest of you? When do you feel the drowsiest? Anybody? Well, let's use a chance to talk. If you don't talk in class, do you do it outside of class? Hmm, I doubt it. Okay, so we have to use the time and the opportunity to practice. It's it's good to practice. Anybody, when do you feel drowsy during the day? No volunteers. All right, moving on. Lesson objective 4.5. By the end of this session, participants will learn how to use clauses stating reasons and conditions. Here we go. Let's take a look. 8.50. We still have a few minutes. Okay. Uh, clauses stating reasons and conditions. Now, even if, that's the first one, even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause. Examples. I sometimes, example, I'm sorry. I sometimes lie awake at night even if I am really tired, 
Okay, so again, even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause. So when I say I sometimes lie awake at night, no matter the circumstances, okay, you say even if I'm really tired. In other words, if I'm really tired or not, that doesn't make a difference, okay, even if. The next one is considering that, that's the expression, considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. Example, I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep. Considering that, most people need eight, okay? That explains it. So considering that, most people need eight. The next one is, as long as, introduces a condition on which the main clause depends, okay? If this condition is met, then, the, the result in the main clause occurs. Example, I can manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day. Siempre cuando, right? As long as. I can manage in five hours of sleep. Okay, I can do it on this condition as long as I take a nap during the day. If I take a nap during the day, yeah, I can, I can sleep. I can manage in five hours of sleep at night. The next one is unless. Unless means if not, okay, unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at work, at school, sorry, at work, or even while driving. Unless means a menos que, right? Unless, a menos que. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at work, at school, at work, or even while driving. The next one is, just in case, okay? Just in case introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account or into consideration. Example, I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Just in case one of them doesn't sound or just in case I don't hear the first one because that happens to me sometimes because I sleep like a log. I used to do this. I used to do this. I used to set two alarm clocks, but my wife started complaining about it. She said, like, no, don't set two alarm clocks. Okay. It disturbs me. So I I, I stopped and I only set one now. So um I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Okay. And the last one is only information if, only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true, okay? This is a non-negotiable condition. You have, for example, I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. That means if I don't have somewhere to be in the morning, I don't wake up early, okay? So it's a non-negotiable condition right there. Uh, before we continue, I don't know if you have any questions. Do you have any questions about the clauses stating reasons and conditions? This may be a bit confusing sometimes. The first one, even if, if you translate it into Spanish, is incluso si, right? Considering that will be considerando que, right? As long as, uh, siempre y cuando, right? Unless, a menos que. Just in case, por si acaso, o en caso que, and only if, únicamente si. All right. Do you have any questions about the use of uh, these expressions right here? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Everything's clear, teacher. I have a question, teacher. I don't want to talk, teacher. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm hungry. I want to have dinner. Are you nodding off or drifting off right now? Am I boring you? <laughs> okay. All right. I assume there are no questions. Okay, Gabriela. No, actually, I wanted to ask you for ah, okay. or, um, if you can give us an example using toss and turn. Toss and turn. Okay. You can say something like... Uh, Toss and turn. Let's see. Some nights 
I just can't fall asleep. So I just keep uh, tossing and turning. Let's see. Sometimes I just can't fall asleep. So I can just I just keep tossing and turning all night long. We can say that. You can say last night I having problems to for sleep and because I I pass tossing and turning the whole night. Yeah. Although but, but if you say because I, I spent the whole night tossing and turning, that sounds like that's the reason. That will be more like the result actually. Because oh, okay. you can fall asleep then you 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 spend the whole night tossing and turning okay mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome so yeah you have it there right sometimes i just can't fall asleep so i just keep tossing and turning all night long okay okay uh thanks for the question all right um let's do an exercise then okay this is uh knowledge check 4.7 okay this is 4.6 clauses stating reasons and conditions 4.7 exercise b you have it right there Match the clauses to make sentences, then compare answers with a partner, okay? So you have drivers can fall asleep on the highway, and then you have the second part. Number two, power naps at work are a good idea. Blah. Number three, some people just can't get off to sleep, okay? Number four, I was surprisingly alert at work. Number five, night owls hate to wake up early. In number six, I only drink hot milk before bed. And then you have the second part of the sentences. Letter A, if I'm having trouble sleeping. B, even if it's a beautiful morning. C, unless they rest before long trips. D, as long as you have the bosses okay. E, considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. And F, unless uh, they take a hot bath before bed. So what about the first one? Drivers can fall asleep on the highway. What's the second part of this sentence? If you know the answer, raise your hand, please. And uh, you can participate. Gabriel. It's letter C, unless they rest before long trips. Yeah. Drivers can fall asleep on the highway unless, a menos que, right? They rest before long trips. Okay. So if you're very tired, don't drive long distances. It can be very dangerous. Okay, number two. Thank you, Gabriel. Number two, power naps at work are a good idea. If you know the answer, please. Elizabeth. It's clear. It's clear D. Yes. <laughs> yeah, power naps at work are a good idea as long as you have the bosses okay. Siempre que tenga la val del jefe. Right? As long as you have the bosses okay, right? If you don't, it's a really bad idea. <laughs> don't take a power nap at work. Okay, number three. Thank you, Elizabeth. Number three, some people just can't get to sleep. Elisa. And then Ana Cecilia for number four. It's letter F, unless they take a bath before bed. Yeah, that's right. Some people just can't get to bed unless they take a bath before bed. Okay, that sounds good. I, I usually take a shower before bed. It works great, okay? When you go to bed and you feel fresh and feels really good. I highly recommend it. Okay, number four, um, Ana Cecilia wanted to participate, I believe. I was surprisingly alert at work. Considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. Uh-huh, that's right. I was surprisingly alert at work considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. Hmm? Okay, thank you, that is correct. This is what I call emergency power. You know, sometimes you don't sleep very much or you don't sleep at all, but the next day for some reason you feel like wide awake, at least for a time, okay? I believe like the body has like some reserve energy that uses in these cases of emergency. Uh, but, but that's only my opinion, right? I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in, the, in, you know, the body or anything. Biden, number five, night owls hate to wake up early. Letter B. Mm -hmm. 
unless it is, unless, sorry. Sorry, even, I'm sorry, I, did, I said on this. Even if it is a beautiful morning. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, night owls hate to wake up early, even if it is a beautiful morning. What about number six, the last one? Well, the last one is quite obvious, it's the only one missing. I only drink hot milk before bed. It's letter A, if I'm having trouble sleeping, okay? I don't know if this works, to be honest with you. I haven't had any milk in a very long time, so I only drink milk with chocolate sometimes. Um, I don't know if this really makes you sleepy. You know what makes me sleepy? Chamomile tea, you know, which is not tea, by the way. It's just chamomile infusion. Okay, that makes me sleepy. Anyway, um, before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions right here? Any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions uh, from the exercise? No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, no questions. I get it. All right. So um, remember that tomorrow, um, tomorrow is the last class. Okay, so please, please uh, don't miss it. Okay, don't miss the class. Tomorrow we have uh, one more opportunity to increase the completion, you know, the attendance, uh, say completion percentage uh, from the attendance list. So everybody, please uh, be connected early tomorrow. And also tomorrow we're going to, not only are we going to finish, or we're going to complete uh, the, the, the last section, which is section number four, we're also going to uh, review the final exam. So if there are any questions right there, okay, that will be a good time to, you know, go through them and uh, clarify any doubts that you might have. So uh, before we go, I just need to call some names from the attendance list one more time, and then we'll be done. Okay, so... Just a second. Carlos Roberto Dominguez. Hello. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla. Amador. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Uh, Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Okay, everybody. Well, uh, thank you once again. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Don't miss the final class, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.